Okay, this is going to be a quick little video. Um, I was asked by a member on one of the Facebook groups, is there a way to reset the shift adapts, the learning, etc., on the Sky Actives? Um, there is. There's really easy if you have the Mazda software. Most people don't have access to that. So I'm going to show how to do it on my personal car. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. You, you might fail a couple times on it. It's kind of like a combination of push and stuff. I'll show you what to do. What this does is this erases all of the learned values that the transmission has learned up to this point, puts it back into um, like a factory fresh condition. You do this when you replace the transmission, uh, change some stuff inside. The other reason to do it is every electronic transmission, controlled transmission in the last 10 to 15 years will adapt. Um, they'll learn behavior. Sometimes they learn things that you don't want them to learn. Um, so it's kind of an easy easy way to get it back to what Mazda intended leaving from the factory. This has uh, cleaned up some people's shift issues, made them respond a little better, things like that. If you have a mechanical problem that's starting, um, this will not fix that. But um, there are two conditions or this will not work. You have to have your foot on the brake the entire time. If you let off the brake or you pump the brake, it aborts the procedure. And the transmission fluid has to be between um, 140 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 to 110 degrees Celsius. If it's out of that range, it also won't learn either. So to do it, uh, to begin with, car has to be running for about 30 seconds to a minute. I have seen it fail on um, some vehicles that wasn't at the full minute, so I always let it go to the full minute. Um, with it on, put your foot on the brake. You go from park to neutral, then you shut the car off. It won't like that at all. Um, then you take the shifter, move it down, and hold it for five seconds in manual uh, downshift. It has to be in that position for at least five seconds. So once you do that, you still or pushing up on it, start the car, or attempt to start the car, will not start, hates that. Then you move it um, from this position that it's in now, back over to neutral. So you're back in neutral, then you start the car. You then take from neutral position, pull it down, to manual upshift, hold it for five seconds. That's what your display will look like. And after you've done that, move it forward to manual upshift for five seconds. Now the idle raises on its own. That means it's learning right now. Um, you wanna have what it's doing right here. There's pressure switches inside the transmission. It's cycling through all the clutches right now and it's learning how quickly those clutches respond based off the pressure readings and how quickly it fluctuates. When you're doing this, you want to let off, so it's just in manual mode, you don't hold it one way or the other. It's doing all the learning. Some cars, um, you'll feel the clutches engaging in the pedal, in the brake pedal, some you won't. Um, when the idle returns to normal, just like that, and then your blink or your uh, instrument cluster go back to manual one instead of just one M. You're good to go. Shift it back to park. Turn it off, and you're all set. Um, there is something that can happen if the test aborts. It might set a code that has to be cleared. So if you don't have a way to clear the code. You might have to disconnect the battery, etc. I've never had it happen, but it is a possibility. Um, it might drive better, might drive the same, might not be any change. Um, it might drive a little funky for the first 20 to 30 miles. It's learning um, all the clutch positions, etc. as it drives. But this may or may not clean up some of the shift issues that some of the people um, have had with these transmissions. 